Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. So, today let's continue playing as the Chichen Itza, the famous, famous monument right there, even though that doesn't exactly look like it, but good enough. Um, yeah. So, what are we doing? I don't have actually a lot of time, so this video might be cut short just a little bit. Probably. Um, let's see, Ka'an, next day of Ka'an will be moderate. Right now we are currently doing Furthering the Fleet. Or enable tech so that we can get down to business to defeat the Huns, but no, to expand the merchant navy and then question of Atslan. So we actually might be at war with Atslan by the time we're done here, which would be very cool. What is it, a subject of strength? I'll give them workshops, invest in Honduras infrastructure. All right, interesting. And right now that will give us a double bonus to enable technology. Let's see, modify government. Uh, we have 151 political power. Not using any of this stuff yet. We're not civilized. We're just tribal. We're not primitive. We're tribal. Um, fighters, agility and max speed's okay. If I wanted to, I'd probably do Victoria Flyers just because you get more close air support, ground attack, and reliability. And just, it's so good. It's so good. So good. So anyways, let's do that for now. I don't think we really have that much going on. We're currently training a few divisions to be... Not trained, but okay, regulars. Cool, we got Recon 2. We are running out of things here to do for our focus, not focus tree, technology trees, just because we don't have a lot of stuff that we can do. We are very primitive. Let's see here, we could go Special Forces Hot Acclimatization Gain Factor. That's not bad. Even more Special Forces, which we will do eventually. Reward Technologies. Yes, 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 we're kind of... Backwards, Army of Mexico buffs, huh? Interesting. Legion stuff, industry. We don't need any more resources right now. And that's... Yeah, I mean, really, we are very severely limited by what we can do. I guess I'll do gliders for now, since... Once we become civilized, I'll immediately push for fighters, and then... Some sort of close air support. Also, we can do more basic weaponry stuff, too. Alright, so we're just basically waiting for our focuses to get done. And I really want to see if... Atslan will go to war with us. Now, I don't know how strong their divisions are. Ooh, war justification time goes down by 40%. The flowerless war, they might go to war with us this episode. If not, I might go to war with them in this episode. So that, that will be interesting. Next up, last time I checked it out, we're going to go with ballistics again, not energy weapons, just because, well, common weaponry versus common energy weaponry. We get, for common weaponry, slightly more breakthrough, and that's really what I care about the most. Heart attack's okay. Eh. Piercing, we're not really focusing on piercing. If we need piercing, we'll add on some anti-tank, which we will probably add on, which I need to research too. Definitely need to research that, and it helps. Production cost is lower. It's more reliable. So, more ballistic stuff. Warrior equipment. More soft attack, thank you. And then, yeah, just let time go on. Pipe guns, basic weaponry. So we are even, or at least for now, a little bit stronger. Very good, very good. Uh, actually, we could use some water, because we are trying to build up or repair some of these ships. I guess trying to improve them, I guess, for now. Yeah. Oh, you come down here. Trirame. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good. That's much better. Uh, ships. Last time, I, I told them not to train because I thought I was going to go, go to war with some of uh, our new puppets, but I guess not. Um, let's see. How are these ships? What are you doing? You are all repairing, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Three civilian factories, what do we need? We have a total of 23 civilian workshops, nice. Do we need more military factories right now? Or what do we need, per se? Maybe, I mean, I've only built civilian factories. We have 15, and then maybe we'll build another arms workshop, perhaps? And you know what, maybe we could actually... What place has the most capacity for new factories? It looks like it's over here with, with one out of five. Yeah, over here. Once we're done with that, let's build up Belize Khan. Or Ka. Belize Ka. Yeah, that's, let's build up this area so we can build some factories very quickly in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Because really, I mean, we're just missing some support equipment, which we really need more military factories, but... It's not that urgent, I would say, so we can probably do that for now. Yeah, since we have enough Pioneer kits. Further the fleet, very nice. Go on to the next thing. 
and expand the merchant navy for increasing our presence at sea military ships are quite vital however if we plan to make proper use of our naval supremacy we must operate a civilian fleet as well the rapid construction of new convoy ships will allow us to make better trade and ferry troops across protected waters to aid in our war wars however i do want to remind you actually what's going on tensions on the border um not really concerned about that i got plenty of divisions up here and it's not even going to go anyways so we got countdown to the day of Ka'an, which won't exactly be great for us, but whatever. And now we need more resources. But what I do want to bring up is that even though we are kind of navally focused, you know, as the Neo Mayans, Neo Mayans, or New or Chichen Itza, we don't have any in naval invasion tech. Kind of surprising. So we definitely have to do assault canoes before we can do very much else. I will have to do schooner hulls and trier maze. I definitely want to build those up. Failure initiatives in Nueva Atlan. Thank you. Thank you very much. The legislature, all right. Troll warm bone pickers, white legs, Ruby Valley Refuge. All right, very nice, very nice. Speaker, yeah, we got we got plenty of equipment for now. Of course, minus support companies, regular divisions. They got that demo, they got that recon, they got that 10 combat width. I could make us, make us have 20 combat width divisions. Go ahead and train since I don't think it's really gonna be too much of a concern right now. Leave the spec ops forces for now. Yeah, expand the merchant navy. Good. And then, oh, we can't do this yet. We need investing in Tzotzil and investing in Honduras. Dang it. Oh, man. We actually have to do those. Well, you know what? First of all, let's do expand military production. Just because then we can go. We get two workshops. Arms workshops. Then we get a research slot and encourage civilian growth. Or settlement growth and then civilized times. Yeah, because all this stuff is good. But, let's do this first. So, the advent of free trade has proven a boon to the, to the success of our economy. Resources are now beginning to flow freely between ITSA and its partners, and these new resources will find good use within our military-industrial complex. Militarized workshops dedicated to the state must be constructed and used to create new war materials supported by our growing economy. Interesting. Got plenty of naval XP, though. Jesus. Imagine if you could get that much army XP by doing the same thing as training the navy. Jesus, that's so much. But it's, who's at war? The NCR and the Legion aren't at war? Or, oh, the Legion is at war trying to kill off twin mothers. Uh, that's not a bad factor, man. I, about, I have about half of that. It's like, maybe you have about half of that. Definitely fewer divisions, but the divisions I make won't be too bad. Actually, speaking of divisions, you guys are... Ah, you're the regular divisions, which is good. You guys are the, I believe, regular divisions as well. So we got two armies of those. We got Spec Ops, in which we need to train or modify those built-in Spec Ops divisions after doing a focus. You guys are kind of split. I'm going to actually make you into regulars. We will gain some manpower, some infantry equipment. I will. It lowers one of the battalions, but it does add in some more support companies, which we don't have, but whatever. And then you guys go ahead and just go to regulars. I'm going to upgrade everyone when I need to, so I really won't think it's going to be that bad. Yeah, that's why I went with regulars. 12 combat width. It's slightly better, but it does hurt your combat width a little bit, so. Expand military production. Very good. Very, very good. Open the Mexican Technical College. So, as currency and goods flow through ITSA, the appropriate use for our new excess funds must be decided. Having now bolstered our industrial capacity in both civilian and military sectors, we must now seek to advance our nation as a technolog technological power. An appropriate investment of funds and minds shall serve this task going forward. We definitely, definitely, definitely want that going forward. So we get to civilize. I know I wanted to say I wanted to uh, go to war with Atzalan, but first, but a research slot going civilized... I think that will really help us out. Concerning this, naval hit chance, spotting chance, naval doctrine, that's not bad. Screen attack, convoy efficiency, screen attack, I don't really want to use screens to attack too much, so... Gulf Patrol, naval speed, range... Let's go with Almirante Luis. I'm going to assume Almirante is like Admiral, so... Yeah, naval chance to hit and spotting chance, yeah, let's definitely do that. Since we're going to have another research slot, I can now focus a little bit more on our Navy. Which will be great. And time for a little bit of coffee I have right in front of me. Mmm. That's hot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's hot. Cool. Awesome. Uh, you guys, you're almost done. Training. 
I'll train this back up soon. You guys can stop training for now, just because it'd be kind of a waste, even though I need some more army XP. Dave Ka'an, ooh. Uh, I've already read this like two or three times. Time to sow the seeds of winter. All right. Last year's harvest wasn't very great for us. We got some manpower. Offer a sacrifice to Hun Nal Yi. I want to make sure we become abundant. Good is good, but that still isn't perfect. We lose a little bit of stability, and we lose a little bit of manpower, so... What happens, happens. Open the Mexican Technical College. Actually, uh, I could wait to do this. Because we still have things we could research. So let's wait Let's wait on civilized times. Let's go ahead and invest in both Tzotzil and in Honduras. Let's go with Tzotzil first, just because they we took them over first. So with the Tzotzil now firmly under our sphere of influence, we must now consider how to better make use of the land and the people. Some oversight investment will allow us to bolster the industry in the area and improve its value to use. Oh, we have another research slot. Yes. 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 Um, right now, I think I'm making some light ships. They're not great. They're really not great, but... Uh, schooners. Light ship HP. Schooner hole. Yeah, if we're going to do that, we're not really navally invading anybody right now, so I think that would be okay. You guys, you should be done training. Move on to the spec ops right now. Or, you're not spec ops. You are spec ops for that one division. I guess those three divisions in total. But that's alright. Alright, ceasefire on the border. Warrior equipment. Very nice. More soft attack. Oh, pioneer kits. I forgot about that. Oh, that's ahead of time. Can't really do that. That's okay then. Division training time. Not really concerned about that. Um, support equipment. Medical chem companies could be good. Could be actually very, very good. Let's go ahead and get some M saws. Get some machine guns on our guys. Some gliders. Nice. See, I had to go civilize to even use planes, so... That'll be important for us. Hmm, support companies. Chem company. Yeah, I really want to use chem companies. XP loss goes down, so... Even though I probably don't honestly need it, since we will, we will be a pretty large nation when we're done here, I just want to make sure that we can, because I don't really want to increase the conscription level, because 3% for moderate exemptions isn't very good for us. I mean, we go up by 1%. We lose stability, construction speed, and stuff like that. And then we lose even more stability. And then when at bare minimal exemptions, even more stability leaves us. So, yeah, maybe I should invest in robots. So you guys, you guys are done. Good. Where are you guys at? You're just guarding the border. As you can tell, I also fixed up what the issue was down here. For some reason, like, we couldn't, like, draw arrows for, like, battle plans and stuff. So, I fixed it. I just... It worked immediately after I was done recording, so... Very, very strange. Very, very strange. Ooh, investing in Tzotzil. Nice, let's invest in Honduras. The land of the people of Honduras. Actually, you know what? I'm going to read that as we're doing that. So, um... I'm going to manually do it like this. So, the land of the people of Honduras are of great use, and bringing them into our sphere of influence should involve optimizing our returns. The Honduran landscape is quite vast, bristling with jungles and split by great mountains. What's more, the current infrastructure is woefully underdeveloped. Navigating their lands and using their resources must involve a period of development, which, with new roads being constructed. So they get a lot more infrastructure, which, helps, which should help them with building factories and get more resources. As you can tell, I might be a little bit tired from this video. Um, I'm slurring my speech just a little bit, as you can tell, and I have to repeat myself several times, but, you know, whatever. Um, we got, you know, let's do scavenge for equipment, just because we don't have a lot to do with our political power. It's not like we can go to war, to war economy, so. Alright, still have a de deficit of support equipment. Alright, and we're building some factories now, nice. Ah, gotta love coffee, man. Got to love it. Ooh. Event or decisions time out. Ceasefire on the border. Yeah, that basically means nothing for us. Invest in Honduras. And here we will go. Nice. So, questions of the Atslan with our land and sea borders being more well secured than they were, we must consider furthering the interests of our co consolidated nation. The Atslan have been a thorn in our side since a time immemorial, and to truly progress as a people, they must be taken care of. It is not time for all-out war, but we must consider our every action a pre prelude to such measures. God, I can't speak today at all. Um, let's see. Military engineering, more entrenchment. Good. That's actually pretty good for defense and more defense. That's really great. Roman legions were constructed. They constructed their own fortification on the move. And we will do the same. Neo-Mayan? No, more like Neo-Roman. Oh. Well, even though that's actually Neo-Roman right here, kind of. 
Even though they say Kaisar, which is really more Germanic, but whatever. Schooner hull, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and do Assault Canoe. So this appears to be more like a light cruiser. So I want to stop making um, these things. Yeah, if you're not even making them, that's totally fine with me. Can we upgrade these things? More Seagull Scouts. Medium Deck Weaponry. Oars. Messenger Seagulls. Oops, I do that. Uh, high, medium wood and hide. We get more armor and HP. Um, that makes it pretty slow. But we do get armor. I don't know if the enemies can really pierce us. That's really slow, though. I don't want to get too much slower. Naval Ram. We could remove that and then add on this. Eh. Just keep the Naval Ram on. We'll make plenty of these. That I won't really be concerned about it too much. Schooner Holes. Mark 1. Do that. Go to Cancun. If we can make any. Ooh. Cancun Ka. So, pulling out feelers. Ooh. Don't make me get feelers. Whilst the Atzlan and ourselves are frequently at each other's throats, not everyone in the Atzlan courts feels that our ancient feuds need to continue. Indeed, there is a sizable faction within the Atzlan, the Eagles, who see us as the lesser of two evils when compared to Tlaloc in the north. If we make the right contacts and the Eagles have sufficient influence within the government, we may be able to end these tensions permanently, but at what cost? They must fall under Claire's thumb. There's no harm in trying, right? Avoid provoking them. Screw that. I'm going to provoke the hell out of them. We got to get some human sacrifice in here. Yeah, they got a lot of manpower, but so do we. And honestly, we probably have very close to, if not the same number of divisions. So, screw that. I don't even want to look at the focus tree. I know I want to go to war with them. Awake and angry. We need to complete... Increase naval capabilities. Establish a college of military affairs. And standardize army drills. Um, where is that? Naval Reform, Gulf Fleet. Is that on the left here? Um, focus, increase naval capabilities. Establish College of Military Affairs. Oh, don't tell me we have to go through down here. Shaky status quo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Elite force, standardize the army drill. Reform, support mass. I don't... S increase naval capabilities, there's that. So that's increased naval capabilities right there on the right. Establish a college of military affairs and stand oh, standardized army drills. Oh, we have to go through all these focuses first? Oh, my goodness. Oh, there it is. Oh, we get another research slot. Nice. But I can't do this. Can I? I don't think I can. Um, Awake. Ooh, am I locked out of this? Maybe I am. Well, anyways, um, well, we might as well get started on trying to complete at least one of these. So, increase naval capabilities or establish college or standardize army drills. Let's go ahead and st establish army drills so that we can get destroy officer careerism and stuff like that. So, shaky status quo. For the most part, the armed forces work as they are. Some shakeups are needed, but only in a minor capacity. Hmm. Well, as long as we're on a collision course with these guys, I feel better about that. Maybe not my soldiers. They have very few ships. Holy crap. See, right now, we definitely need more support equipment. Pretty normal. We make two a day, though. That's not bad. Everything else is pretty good. You know what? To help that out... Ooh, gliders? Yeah, definitely make some gliders when you have enough factories. Do this for now. That should be good. Yeah. Probably don't need... Eh, I will need some more pioneer kits in the end. Just because, uh... Yeah. I'm going to make a... My, my spec ops divisions as large as possible right now we got 158 political power i'm still very limited to what i can do which really really sucks can't do this yet can't do this either Ooh, experience soldier losses that's minus 20 percent. that's pretty good more division organization division training time of course goes up but uh yeah this is what we're left to robot robco robotic tech well i already have Spec Ops, so I'm not going to use Power Armor. And I'm not going to use Tanks, so we might as well rob Co. We're building some things down here. Um, I guess we could use a few more factories before we start investing in there. So let's make some here. And then we'll make some over here. And then I'm actually going to build some Naval Dockyards. Because why not? Because we can. That's mostly why. Because we can. Oh, Mech Shift Squad Automatic Weapons. Nice. 
And last time, I believe we went with the minigun. Um, just because it has slightly more soft attack, I believe, yeah. So, like I did with the flamers, let's go with heavy rapid capacitor weapon. So we get a Gatling laser, that sounds like fun. Can you think of Neo-Mayan people with Gatling laser guns? I didn't think so. Recast the Ejercito. So, for quite some time, the Ejercito having a dis disconcertingly political and insubordinate group. I cannot speak. Considering the political strife that has hit Itza in recent years, it has become clear that the partisan elements of the Ejercito must be pressured out and replaced. In removing the traitorous elements of the army, we can finally refine and advance our doctrine unimpeded by those who stood to gain from the previous arrangement and unlocks High Command Minister Lucas Aguinaldo. I'll get a double bonus for conventional warfare. Well, I'm doing asymmetrical warfare. Conventional warfare. Huh. Well, that's not bad. Initiative failure is a new way of Atlan. Don't even need to read that. This is what I usually choose for the NCR or other countries like the NCR. I mean, it's alright. I mean, all of these trees are good for specific different countries, so there's no really worries about that. Uh, refined mixture? Sure, why not? We got the focus trees, or the focus slots, research slots. Research slots for this. Re why, why am I saying focus stuff? But I do appreciate within this mob that most of these focuses only last 30 days, which is so much better than when you go back to vanilla or Kaiser Reich for some parts, or even Fur Reich or other mods. There were 70 days for a focus. Oh my goodness. 30 days is an optimal time. Just enough time to forget about it, but a little bit enough time that you're still engaged in the game very much, that you don't don't just straight up forget about it, which is kind of nice. All right, Nueva Atzlam, what are you doing? Preparing for the worst, all right. That sounds good for your people. We might gas them. I mean, okay, maybe we can not gas them. We're still tribal, but you never know. If we need to gas you, I mean, we'll do our best. All is fair in love and war. Recast the Ejercito. Very nice. Let's see. Destroy Officer Careerism. Though it may not be as corrupt and double-dealing as it once was, the leadership of the army is still bloated and inefficient. This can be mainly attributed to the fact that the position of military leaders have become a chiefly political one, rife with power and plays and nepotism. If we can remove these career leaders from control and put power back into the hands of experienced military minds, our army will benefit greatly. And I want to click that before... We get on to the next aid, but happy 2279, my friends. Ooh, assault canoes. I love assault canoes. Can you believe that a, that a canoe can be considered an assault weapon? But anyways, let's start doing some naval modules so we can start putting stuff on there. Beautiful. So now, if we really, really needed to, we could use our spec ops and navally assault. Because Tahunan Alma Arista has some pretty good stats, like Invader... Amphibious and Naval Liaison. So, ooh, New Vegas joined the NCR. Well, that's, that's like our last campaign. So, if we have to go to war with these coffee people as well as Nueva Atalam, I will try to invade like here and then cut off the southern portion and then do that again and again and again. Um, you guys, yeah, just stay up here. Ooh, we get more equipment. Nice. Get a lot more basic melee gun equipment, so that's not bad. Keep throwing soldiers up here. The north will be fine. 16 divisions is a little bit of a cause for concern. So, once we're done building some stuff... Let's do that. We, the naval stuff can kind of wait for now. Let time go on. Keep throwing on more divisions. Yeah, 16 divisions. 18 divisions, really 22 divisions, might be a little difficult to beat back. <clears throat> Up north, we'll be fine. In the center, we're going to struggle a little bit. But I'm going to continue throwing divisions over here. Besides... Do they have support equipment? They might. No, they have... They're literally just only infantry battalions, which is nice for us. Over here, we'll be fine. Down here, we'll be fine as well. Naval-specific manufacturing. Very nice. Seagull scouts. Oh, I like the damage. Keep throwing on more... Oh, three divisions at one time. Hallelujah. See, look at... Ooh, political power. Diehard reformer. Less planning speed and more division training time, but we get more division organization because we lost 10%, I think, but earlier for, like, one of our research things that we were doing. But we get experience. Soldier loss goes down. Destroy officer careerism. Very nice. And definitely, definitely do 
Lan Doctrine. The process of whipping our army into fighting form is one that will span years, and the notion that our army should be hardened in the flame of war is an antiquated one of which serves us poorly. The simplest and most direct step to improving our army is to refine the tactics and unit cohesion of our army. New training exercises and war games are required to burst our military in tactics and combat. Amen. So now, then, let's see, we have... Oh, we only get really can use one more of these, which is fine. No worries. That's okay. And we are good for support equipment, which means time to put some more things on. Fire teams. I'm not making any of those. Put on some chem companies, because why not? Oh, I'm out of army XP. God dang it. All right, how much are we out? A lot. Go ahead and start making some machine guns as well. Definitely do that. Yeah, we're going to have to build some more military factories. Um, For now... Screw that. Uh, well, I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. I think that'll be okay. Pioneer kits, flamers. I don't want to lower this too much, so do that. Definitely make some more guns. Hmm. Gotta love that coffee. Ooh, we got some people making some repairs. All right, not bad. Good idea. Very good idea. The Imperial Colt. Actually, right now... We had the white flag, the ICDEB. It's in Citizens Defense Bureau. As you see, to control the military factories. Where was that thing that helped us with... Oh, there's it's in revanchism. That hurts our recruitable population factor. Um, new blood in the Azure Cito, which is helping us a little bit more and more. Weapon mount production. Coach guns. That seems like light gun stuff. Naval rams are okay. Damage. There's more damage on these bad boys. Damage, damage, damage. Republic of the Rio Grande. Oh, declare war on Los Ejercito Mexicano. Interesting. So, the Rio Grande, the Republic declared war on these guys. Santa Anna, how are you doing? Looks like Daddy Tlaloc will be, probably perish within about nine months. Ah, standardized army drills. Nice. And elite force looks really good. Pretty good. Let's see. Oh, we, wait, we can do Awaken Angry now? Okay. Yeah, since we did that focus. So, all of our progress, all of our strife, it has been for this. We have had a taste of danger already. <clears throat> but nothing will compare to what we must do now. Our military is consolidated. Our southern and eastern borders fortified and ready. Now is the time to expand into Mexico and become the empire we so truly deserve to be. More population, more attack, more defense. Generate war goal tension limit better. Just by war goal's time goes down by 200%. Jesus Christ, 200%. Not 20%, not 100%, but 200%. And there goes the Western Brotherhood of Steel going to war with the NCR. Oh, baby. The world is heating up. And you know what? The world only includes North America because that's all the part of the world that really matters. Just kidding. But not really. But just kidding, but not really. Cool. Um, for here, we're pretty much done with all this stuff. I might put on dogs for now. Eh, suppression bonus, that's not really worth it. Oh, actually, do we get more breakthrough? We do get a little bit more breakthrough, that's not bad. Hmm, infantry stuff. Let's go ahead and do platoon, special forces, armor, and eh, let's get some division training time. Alright, so with these guys, I want my infantry to mostly hold. That's my main concern right now. And the spec ops... Let's start off a little bit easy. Um, right now, let's take a quick look. We can have 10 divisions assault at one time, and that's perfect for us. So I want all five of you to come from here, and I'm going to actually do a small naval invasion to begin. You'll come from here, and the other five, four, five, will also try to invade from... Um, there's no good way to get on the other side. So we're going to land both forces here and then push across from, from here to over here. Just because I'm I'm going to try it out. Why not? We got Spec Ops soldiers. We might as well try it. If our infantry can hold, that would be great. Uh, you know what? Put this, this, and this at the top. Just in case you never know what might just happen. So let's do that. No production. We definitely need more resources, which kind of sucks. So we'll do that next for researching stuff, which will happen in two days. You know what? I said this video would be shorter, but apparently that was a lie. I didn't mean for this to be just about as long as all the others, but that's okay. Totally okay. Totally, totally, totally okay. Resource efficiency gain. Work camps. I prefer dedicated equipment. Who needs work camps when you have dedicated equipment? So, 
Um, unfortunately, we did not have enough time to go to war with Nueva Aztlan in this episode, which sucks, but we are definitely on a collision course to go to war with them, which will be a lot of fun. Or at least, it should be a lot of fun. Let's see, let's do this. Capacity, Special Forces Platoon Organization. Um, Naval stuff. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's do that first. So, um, I want to finish up this focus first. We'll select our next focus, and then we'll go to the next one. Or we'll call it an episode, a video. White Lens Declared War New Canaan. How is the Brotherhood NCR War? The NCR is doing not great. But that's pretty much to be expected around here. That goes colonies... The, wait, what? Oh my goodness. Now this is a little different. The Rio Pact with Lagrangias and the Republic of the Rio Grande. And the Pecos Colony as well as Baudelio Ranchers. Interesting. Oh, right. Awake and angry. Deal with the AI. Deal with the technocrats. Deal with Atslan. So... Uh, we'll do this next. So, for all the pragmatism we have brought to our nation, there is one itch left. Too close, too personal. As we grew in our power and influence, there the Atslan were always gnashing their teeth and standing too close to the precipice of yet another flower war. And bringing our age-old nemesis to their knees, we will finally cement our place as a true ruler of Mesoamerica. And with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, Binky. I'm joined here by my cat night, Binky. But anyways, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new, for we will be... I will confirm and guarantee we will be at war with Nueva Atlan in the next episode. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Like I said, check out my Discord link below. Tell me hello there. And I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great, great day.